Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Kiko. I am here on Slim's channel. We did a video swap earlier in the week, so this is my video for his channel. My channel name is the Kiko25. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen any of my videos before or even heard of me. If not, I'm sure there will be a link in the description below or on the screen to my channel. I really hope you guys will check me out. Um, and I just kind of wanted to do two different things today. First off, I am going to Nationals this year, so if you get a chance, come up, say hi. We'll do, we'll do some video stuff like that. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for a lot of Nationals coverage and videos from Nationals. I'm going to pump up about 20 videos roughly from Nationals this year along with Slam, Vexicus4666 and lots of other people. First thing I'm going to do today is a brand new card review and another thing that I'm going to do is a card that is sort of a tech card, sort of like Slim's uh, segment Tech for Thought, but this card can, um, it's not necessarily a card you would want to use now, but it's a card to keep in the back of your mind for the future. Uh, of this game. So the first card I'm going to talk about is Kachi Kochi Dragon. Uh, this is a new card that just came out of the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! Manga, which I happen to have a copy of right here. So if anybody wants an extra copy, uh, the card is out of it. But if you want it, I've got it. Now, Kachi Kochi Dragon, he is a ranked 4 exceed monster with 2100 attack and 1300 defense. He takes two level 4 monsters uh, to exceed summon into him, and it basically says that once per turn, uh, when a card when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you, you can detach one exceeds material from this card to have it attack once again in a row. Now, let's break down this card a little bit. It's an Earth Dragon Exceed. So, first thing that we notice is it has 2100 attacks. So, there's a few things it can run over. It can run over Thunder King, which isn't really prevalent right now. Um, and it's not, you know, super high attack. It's not super high defense. Now, you can bring it out and get the playoff in the right situation, but for a rank 4, wouldn't you rather go for Utopia? It kind of depends on what kind of a deck you're playing, but Kachi Kochi Dragon is a pretty decent card, I think. I think it has its place in a lot of side decks. You can get it in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal Manga Volume 1, and I'll give you guys a little bit better look here at the picture. Uh, the art looks pretty cool to me, but it's a pretty neat card, and it's a brand new card that will be legal for Nationals, so we'll see if uh, anybody finds a good way to use it. And next is the uh, tech card that I'm going to be talking about. Um, this card can work for many different types of situations, and the one that it works for best right at the moment is Chaos Dragons. Now, there's a lot of other cards that you could side in for this matchup, but if you're looking for a different type card to play, uh, it's another hand trap for you guys. It's called Ally of Justice Cycle Reader. It is a level 3 monster, and the thing that's good about that, it has good synergy with most decks, being that if you need to summon it, at any point, and you can keep it alive on the field, it will work for rank 3 exceeds. It is a machine 1000-1000 as far as attack and defense is concerned, and it is a tuner, so that's another thing that it has going for it. It says you can discard this card to the graveyard to select up to two light monsters in your opponent's graveyard and remove them from play. This effect can only be activated during... This effect can be activated during either player's turn. So right now for Chaos Dragons, it's really, really good. You can remove their Rikos, their Lilas, their Effect Veilers, all their light targets um, so that they can't summon their Light Pulsars, their uh, Chaos Sorcerers, the BLSs, and everything like that. It's a really, really good card, but this was useful for other things for me in past formats. When plants were really prevalent about a year and a half ago, this really helped me take care of different things with plants because um, it just helped get certain things out of the graveyard. It would help out in light sworn matchups. It would get uh, a lot of their lights out of the grave. And even though you can use DD Crow, this is like DD Crow times two uh, for one card. Another matchup I really, really like with this is Agents. Agents really, really hurt to this card when it comes to their Christia plays and variable other plays just depending where you are in the matchup. But I really like this card against Chaos Dragons. Is it worth designating a spot in your side deck? That's up to you. Um, you got to choose if you would like DD Crow. Uh, are you main decking any Soul Takers? Things like that. So this is a really good card. I hope you guys will try it out. I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos covering Nationals, YCS, deck profiles, pro player interviews, a um, bunch of tips on uh, you know getting better at the game, uh, product reviews and product openings. I do lots of case openings and box openings and things on my channel. So please subscribe. Uh, like I said, I'm the Kiko25. 
Uh, check me out on Facebook and Twitter, which you can find in the description of almost any video that I post on my channel. And I'm almost to 3,000 subscribers, so my goal is to be over 3,000 subs by the time I get back from Nationals. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Appreciate Slim for letting me be on his channel. He's a great guy. Continue to watch his videos. Favorite them. Share them with your friends. He knows what he's talking about. So be sure to stay with him. We're going to collab on some videos at Nationals, which I'm really excited about. I hope you guys will come over and visit my channel. Until then, thanks a lot, YouTube. Talk to you guys later. Peace.